So there has been some rather shocking information coming from OpenAI. And this news actually comes as a real surprise considering what OpenAI is scheduled to do this year with regards to releasing its Frontier models. Now, let's actually dive into exactly what's going on because this was so surprising and caught even me off guard as there weren't any warning signs of literally anyone else needing to leave OpenAI. So let's take a look. So what we can see here is that the information, a notorious service that has continually reported on various pieces of information regarding industry insights, especially at some of the top tech companies, they always have good scoops. And they reported stating that, you know, trio of open trio of open AI leaders depart and take a leave of absence. And this is not a good sign when you have a trio of open AI's most prominent figures and leaders leaving the company, especially during this year and a period of momentum. So what we can see here is at the start, they said Greg Brockman, OpenAI's president and one of the 11 co-founders of the AI firm is taking an extended leave of absence and another co-founder and key leader, John Shulman has decamped to Anthropic, a fierce rival founded by ex OpenAI researchers and Peter Deng, a product leader who joined the company last year after leading products at Meta platforms, Uber and Airtable, has also left according to a person with direct knowledge of the move. So what we have here is an incredible number of people who have left OpenAI and some of them who have even gone to Anthropic. So this is just something that is remarkably surprising considering the fact that I would have thought that OpenAI wouldn't have any more drama for the foreseeable future because if you do remember you know after OpenAI had all of that drama what they did do was they did restructure a few things in terms of how the board was set up so we would have thought that if there were any issues they should have been ironed out at that time but now what we can see here is that people have decided to you know once again leave OpenAI. Now the reason this is so crazy is because one of the key people slash key players of OpenAI is, of course, the co-founder and, you know, the current president, Greg Brockman. So Greg Brockman actually made a statement on Twitter slash X today, and he essentially said that I'm taking a sabbatical through end of year. The first time to relax since co-founding OpenAI nine years ago, and the mission is far from complete we still have a safe AGI to build. So this is essentially them stating that, look, okay, I'm going to be taking a sabbatical just time off. However, I'm not entirely convinced. And I know this might be my own opinion, but let me just show you guys a firsthand example of why I'm not entirely sure Greg Brockman is going to be coming back to open AI. So one thing that we can see here is this tweet from Andre Carpathy. Now, Andre Carpathy, previously worked at Tesla for several years doing remarkable research and innovation. Now, he basically tweeted in 2022 that, look, I'm going to be taking some time off to rest and to travel after almost five years at Tesla. And I'm going to be excited to, you know, be coming back to all the robots and having them at my fingertips again. And Elon Musk even responded saying that, look, Andre Carpathy is on a four month sabbatical. However, after this sabbatical was over, this, you know, individual, Andre Carpathy, actually did not return to Tesla. Now, I know you might be thinking, why on earth are you even comparing Greg Brockman to Andre Carpathy? It's just a simple fact that, look, if someone at a top tech company, what we've seen in recent years, says that they're going on a sabbatical on Twitter, the most recent example that we have has shown us that, look, there is the possibility that they might not be coming back. And if that is true, the implications for this could be most devastating to OpenAI as Greg Brockman is not just your typical leader who walks around and gives orders and yada, 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 as some people might think that's what management does. But this person is a 10x engineer. And if you don't know what that is, that's essentially just Silicon Valley slang for a programmer who is 10 times as productive as the average worker. And the reason that I think that Greg Brockman, even if he's going on, you know, an absence for so long, I still think that this is quite concerning considering the fact that OpenAI is going through a slew of departures from their company. 
And you can see here that, you know, other people who have worked with him describe him as a 10x engineer. And you can see that Aravind Srinivas, who worked at Google and OpenAI before founding Perplexity, actually described Greg Brockman in a rather interesting way. He said that the hardest working person at OpenAI is Greg Brock. So we have to ask ourselves if, ladies and gentlemen, the hardest person working at OpenAI is Greg Brockman. If this person is now leaving and, you know, this article actually about Greg Brockman describes how he, you know, literally writes software from scratch and how he's able to code at some of the deepest levels and how he's able to, you know, understand fundamentally, fundamentally all of the programs and how the systems all work together um, and that kind of, you know, engineering just isn't around anymore. We have to wonder that if this person is leaving for an extended period of time, what on earth is going on at OpenAI that, you know, warranted this. This is, you know, remarkable. Genuinely, genuinely remarkable stuff that this is even happening. And not only is it remarkable, it is rather concerning considering the fact that additionally, many individuals have left OpenAI earlier this year. So it will be fascinating to see how, you know, OpenAI is going to still work effectively moving forward, considering one of their key, key members have, you know, just, you know, gone on sabbatical and some of them have even left. Now, I think the other news is, you know, also just as important because what we have here is rather fascinating. So take a look at this. Okay. So we have, so this person, John Shulman was actually pivotal to the creation of ChatGPT. And we can see here that he actually made a statement. He said, I've shared the following note with my OpenAI colleagues today. I've made the difficult decision to leave OpenAI. This choice stems from my desire to deepen my focus on AI alignment and to start a new chapter of work where I can return to hands-on technical work. And this is by far the most interesting part of this is that he says, I've decided to pursue this goal at Anthropic, which is, you know, incredible. So you can see here. So this is incredible. He's actually leaving. Okay. Someone who led to the actual creation of ChatGPT is actually leaving to pursue this goal at a rival firm. So he says that this is, you know, where I believe I can gain new perspectives and do research alongside people deeply engaged with the topics I'm most interested in. And to be clear, he says that I'm not leaving due to a lack of support for alignment research at OpenAI. And on the contrary, my company leaders have been very committed to investing in this area. My decision is a personal one based on how I want to focus my efforts in the next phase of my career. So I think this is probably one of the most, you know, impactful pieces of news because, you know, a, a really, really integral part of OpenAI's team has, you know, suddenly left to go and join Anthropic. And this isn't, okay, a safety issue, which is, you know, arguably more concerning because safety issues are one thing. Some people could argue that these systems aren't that smart yet, but leaving to just, you know, think that, you know, you can, you know, have a better time for whatever reason at another company where you think, where you believe that, you know, you can return to hands-on technical work is rather surprising. Okay. It's like, this is genuinely, genuinely surprising stuff. And, you know, he also says here that I'm proud of what we've all achieved together at OpenAI, building an unusual and unprecedented company with a public benefit mission. And also stating that, you know, I get too much credit for chat GPT. Um, him then stating, okay, that, you know, like this, this is why he's leaving is just so incredible because he's going to a rival firm. So that is rather concerning. Okay. Him, um, Greg Brockman and, you know, the v a VP of product lead actually leaving is rather concerning because what it kind of shows us is that there might be some internal issues at OpenAI that causes three, you know, senior members to leave slash take a sabbatical. And like I said before, we aren't really sure if Greg Brockman is going to be coming back. So, I really am concerned here because this is not the best kind of news that you want to be hearing, especially with a few months left leading up to a possible Frontier model release. Now, if we actually take a look at the wider situation, we know that if we look at, you know, just this year alone, there were 14, you know, high individuals that actually left, you know, for other teams and other startups. So Ilya Satskova, you know, left in May, the co-founder and chief scientist, one of the most important people described as, you know, the linchpin to opening eye success left in May. Jan Like, the, you know, co-leader of the Super Alignment Group left in May. John Shulman left in August to join Anthropic. Greg Brockman took an extended leave. Peter Deng, the VP of Consumer Product, Daniel Cocktaljo, left Feb, 
William Saunders, Super Alignment, left in February, Leopold Aschenbrenner, Super Alignment, Pavel Ismailov, a member of the Super Alignment team, fired, Ivan, a lead engineer, left after 3.5 years, Logan Kilpatrick, left to Google, Diane Yoon, VP of People, left in May, and Andre Carpathy, left in March, and of course, Chris Clark. So, this is a remarkable list of individuals, okay? Not just, you know, standard operations. These are people that were, you know, really integral to the company. So I'm wondering how OpenAI is managing to even, you know, fill the roles of these people that were left as it is a very difficult thing to do considering some of these people, you know, you just can't find them. And with the current state of the AI market, talent is highly, highly sought after and very competitive. There are, you know, salaries being thrown around in order to retain talent. So I'm truly wondering how OpenAI is going to go through this 